Some earlier Netgear N routers use Smart Wizard for installation. So before continuing, check the description below to confirm that this video will support your specific router model. If your router supports the newest Netgear Installation Assistant, please watch our Netgear Installation Assistant video instead. To begin the setup process, first remove the power from your old router and disconnect the Ethernet cable from your modem. Next, unplug the power adapter and remove any backup batteries. Wait 10 seconds. Use the included Ethernet cable to connect your modem to your router. Plug one end into the modem and the other into the yellow Ethernet WAN port on the back of the router. Now plug your router into a power source. If no LEDs turn on, make sure to press the power button on the back of your router. Once the power LED turns orange, allow up to one minute for the router to boot up. When your router is fully powered on, the power and internet LEDs will light solid green. You can now configure your router with either a wired device such as a laptop or wireless device such as a tablet. Note that for a wired connection, an extra ethernet cable not included in the package is required to connect to your router. Now, for a wireless connection, look for the new network named Netgear in your list of available Wi-Fi networks. After selecting the network, you'll be asked to set up your new router. You can click OK to set up your router with a unique network password or security pin printed on the back of the router. Though, for a seamless installation, we recommend clicking on Connect to the Network without setting up. Once connected to the network, open your preferred web browser and type routerlogin.net in the address bar. When prompted, type admin for the username and password for the password, as these are the default settings. This page will allow you to check for firmware updates, modify settings, and manage your network. To set up your network name and password, click on Wireless Settings. You can modify your network name here. If you'd like to set up a network password, be sure to click WPA2-PSKAES. Type in your secure network password. A good tip is to use the same Wi-Fi network name and password as your old router. That way, all of your existing Wi-Fi devices will automatically connect to your new network. Write this down and save it for future reference and connecting additional devices. Click Apply. You will then need to log back into your new network using the previously assigned network name and password. To ensure optimal performance of your network, be sure to update to the newest firmware. Return to routerlogin.net and type in the default username and password. Click on Router Upgrade and select Check to see if there is a new firmware version available. Click Yes to upgrade to the new firmware version. Allow a few minutes for the changes to be made. Your Netgear router is now ready to power your network. If you wish to change your network name or password in the future, note that the newer firmware may have updated the routerlogin.net user interface. The default login username and password are the same. To view your network settings, navigate to the Wireless tab. To check for new firmware, go to Advanced, Administration, Firmware Upgrade, then select Check. Visit Netgear.com for additional setup details and the latest information on your router.